Sega. The day that Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection was released should have been an international holiday for Sega fans. This disc is an amazing collection of several dozen video games, Sega Genesis games and arcade classics. If you've been watching this show, you know that the Sega Genesis is my favorite video game console of all time. It's the first one that I bought myself back in 1989. Although I grew up in the Atari era and had a used Atari 2600 for a long time and finally a 7800, then an NES, when I bought the Sega Genesis and became addicted to games like Revenge of Shinobi, Altered Beast, Fantasy Star 2, Herzog, Zwei, and Super Monaco GP, I developed a lifelong interest in Sega games and love of Sega hardware. And I still have my original Genesis, it works perfectly. And I am deeply saddened that we no longer have Sega consoles being released today, but we do get these amazing collections of Sega games, and they've outdone themselves with this one. I love the Sega Genesis collection on the PlayStation 2, and I've talked about that disc frequently. And I'll review that separately, but here we get Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection with all of the games upconverted to high definition, we're watching the PlayStation 3 version, and this is also available for Xbox 360. You don't get every game from the PlayStation 2 Sega Genesis collection on this disc. Actually, the, the most notable omission is Shadow Dancer, the secret of Shinobi, which, for whatever reason, is not here. And also uh, Virtua Fighter 2 and maybe one or two others. But they added in the Streets of Rage titles and a whole lot of other games. You obviously get the Sonic the Hedgehog games, Fantasy Star 2 through 4, Shinobi 3, Rise from your grave. And I flipped through the menu at the beginning of the review. You can look at all the game titles in there. And for starters, the whole disc is well laid out. It's easy to navigate. They have cartridge scans and also packaging scans. As you can see, the games are presented in their native 4x3 aspect ratio set within a 16x9 high definition frame. Ideally, I would have liked to see them fill the widescreen, but then they would have had to actually make changes to the original games themselves. Rise from your grave. Welcome to your doom. In any event, they look wonderful. Occasionally you'll see a little flicker or some dropout of something that, that got a little confused in translation. But having all of these terrific games on one disc is, is uh, well, it's hard to beat. I also showed the unlockable options, and I started with nothing and have been working my way through the game, unlocking unlocking various games. I've already unlocked Alien Syndrome and the Altered Beast arcade title for this review. And did you notice the differences between the Genesis version and the ar arcade version? It's really cool to see that, and I'm glad that they put the arcade version in here. For the most part, unlocking the extras is not that difficult. They, they tell you exactly what games you need to play and what you need to do. Some games you just need to play, others you need to hit a certain score. If you're into the PS3 trophies or Xbox achievement points, there's plenty of those in here to keep you occupied as well. The audio presentation in Sonic's Ultimate Collection is outstanding. Ease what?
And although these games sounded good on the original Sega Genesis, they sound amazing here. And you'll hear things that you've never heard before. Buying this game for the Genesis today is actually quite expensive. Probably cost you more than this whole collection. price of this disc would be worth just playing Streets of Rage 3 alone with some of the best Genesis music this side of Musha. Aside from the major Sega titles in there like Super Thunder Blade, Vector Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, you get a couple smaller ones you may not have played back in the day like East SWAT and Alien Storm. The games that you could play two player back in the day like Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, those are two player games in here as well. Zaxxon is an unlockable arcade game, the Shinobi arcade game is unlockable, and Space Harrier. There's, there's just no reason to not run out and buy this disc if you like Sega. Even if you have these games in cartridge form, which I have most of them, the whole presentation here is done so well, and it's so much fun to play them again and unlock everything. And this is the kind of game that your Sega Genesis would play if it could play games. Think about that, and it hurts your head.